Tries it and you fucking get it on a hill. That's fat. Like that ass I like. Here we go. show you how to make one for four dollars. That's all I got in this motherfucker right here. And by the way, doesn't that look better than that one anyway? It's bigger. You look like you have heavier dick weight. This is like a petite drinker. This is a deep dick drinker. <laughs> you can make six of these motherfuckers for the same price of one of these cocksuckers right here. All you need is a bank can. These are two bucks. If you ain't got one laying around already, courtside. You want to also get some R20 insulation tape. That's important. Aluminum. Check, motherfucker. Fucker, I'm gonna kill a motherfucker in here, god damn it. I'm gonna need a shot after all that. Get you some good thin snap aluminum tight gloves. Don't be a dick. You gotta cut your hands up and you can't roll joint for a that two days. Rip and fly. One of the key ingredients is this great stuff. Insulation. You can pick up aluminum like this, which will wrap up the can. Thunder! Oh, I cut myself. Uh, if you're too fucked up to make a goozy, god dang, get on the internet, get you a devil hug, and call it a day. Ooh, pot wash, pot washing gloves. Now to make the perfect homemade Yeti, you gotta have enough space for your can to slide in and out freely. The best way to do this is take a can, wrap it in aluminum, then duct tape it. That right there is gonna be your core of a homemade Yeti. Now we gonna make the interior. Are you gonna take this? It's 18 inch piece. Gonna wrap around this thing. Why it's giving me double insulation. It is like old school tech toy rolling up a beer like a joint, motherfucker. Once you get your aluminum rolled around the can tightly, you might want to use something like this insulation tape. You can wrap that around and double up your efforts. Sealing the aluminum at the same damn time. Now we need to put a bottom on here. So it looks like this one on the inside. We'll cut a round piece, attach it to the bottom. So you, what you want to do is cut it extra wide all the way around. Fold up these edges, you want to trim a bunch of little tiny slits. You just want to cut it so it will fold up around the bottom of your fancy ass cozy. And then we can insulate tape it to the bottom. Then we going to tin snip around the top. Look at that! Now, because we made that inner core, a can is gonna slide in and out. Just as easy as it does on these 
fancy at forty dollar cozy. So does that. Now you wanna go ahead and use this bright stuff phone to fill up the inner cork. Stick it down in there, give it a rip. Not too much, this shit will come out quick. Now if this comes out top, don't freak out, let it dry. Take a razor blade, cut it out. It's gonna take overnight to sit up. Decorate it with some stickers, fuck yeah, yeah. It's a not Yeti. Yeti. What? <laughs> Would you look at that shit right there? Homemade hot dollar insulated cozy. You ain't gotta spend forty dollars to keep your bed cold. You can spend full insulation. Take great stuff insulation. Your bed slides in and out like a space pussy. That's gonna be gold until I finish it for damn sure. I can guarantee that. I'm gonna see y'all back in the shop next Friday. Make some homemade koozies. I got shit to do, y'all. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Have you subscribed? Did you get it? Hit the button. Hit it. Hit it.